So what am I missing by not 3D printing in my dental practice? Hey, I'm Dr. Chris Griffin, founder of the 3D Printing Association for Dentists. And today, let me share that with you guys. Because I know a lot of y'all are, are wondering what's going on with 3D printing. It's sort of, it's, you hear a lot about it, but how could it fit into my practice? Well, one thing I think we can all agree on is that times have changed. Uh, it's very obvious, big insurance companies, big corporate dentistry, they're out to get us. So what can we do that gives us a strategic advantage? So here are three things that I'm gonna share with you guys that I think are just absolutely huge for 3D printing in dentistry, okay? Number one, huge lab savings. Um, you wonder, you know, right now lab bills, at least my lab bill, is going up every day. And so you wonder, what can I do to help get the lab costs down? Well, lab costs in 3D printing are kind of interesting. So some of the big things you do in 3D printing, one of the things you do, you can print dentures, okay? So every time you print a denture, you're saving roughly, you know, I don't know where you practice or how much your lab bill is, but you're saving 350, 380, $400 uh, for every arch, every time you print in 3D printing. Uh, surgical guides. If you're big into implants like I am, probably you've gotten into surgical guides lately. And if you get in surgical guides, you know the cost has come down over, over the last few years, but it's still pretty high. And one thing that I like to do with surgical guides, not only save money by not having to pay for my surgical guides now, but uh, I get to design them myself, and that's really cool. It really helps when you're figuring out the occlusal forces, and just you know that you're safe where you're putting your implants. So that's a big deal. But that's not the biggest deal. The biggest savings in all of 3D printing is the lab bill you save over not having to pay big clear liner companies. Now, I don't know about you, but I've done more and more clear liner cases as time's gone by. Well, the lab bills have just, you know, they've gotten outrageous, right? One of the last lab bills that I paid two years ago to a clear liner company was for $2,100. Now that was a big, that's a big bill. Um, when you do your own clear aligners in office, like we do now, you're saving $1,500 to $1,800 per case, okay? That's a big deal. And that's the way, just, just mainly those three things, that's how I paid off my own initial 3D printer investment when I bought this, this little fella right here um, for about $10,000 for the package back in 2020 during the pandemic. That's how I paid that thing off in 21 days, just savings on those three things alone, okay? So that's, that's big number one, okay? You're gonna, if you get into 3D printing, just know the money you spend to get started, you're gonna make it back pretty quick, okay? Well, all right, number two. What's another good thing that we can, that we can get out of 3D printing in the office? Um, now this is not quite as monetary but just a cleaner, more modern looking office. You know, when, uh, when Syrup came out, I loved it. I thought it was the coolest thing. It made me look really modern, made my patients think, wow, he's really on top of stuff. So that was cool back in the day. And you know, we still do a lot of that, but the 3D printer will do this for you too. I mean, you can have it out where patients can see it. You know, we used to put our Syrup out in the waiting room, you know, in, behind a glass wall, so patients could see what we were doing and, and really kind of be wowed by the robot. Well now with 3D printing you can do the same thing, but here's a big thing that you get that you might not be thinking. You can absolutely throw away your stone grinder, throw away your stone lab. You never have to deal with alginate, messy stone, none of that. So, because you know, to use a 3D printer you also have to have a scanner, which I believe 70 to 80% is, uh, percent of dentists have now anyway. So you're scanning somebody digitally, you're printing these models uh, to make, whatever, you're printing guides and, and you're printing uh, splints, but you're also can just print the models if you're doing conventional suck down for whitening trays or whatever. You can print all that. You have no need for a stone lab anymore. We've absolutely turned our stone lab into a processing center for clear liners because we just don't need it, okay? Your staff may resist you at first, but it's just gonna have to be that way because after a couple of weeks, everybody gets used to it and you don't have to worry about that mess anymore. So that's a huge thing for our practice. It doesn't really make you money, but it just, it looks really good and it's really great for overall team morale, okay? And uh, number three though, number three, that's the real big one. 
But before I get to number three, let me share real quick. Um, we do have a brand new organization, the 3D Printing Association for Dentists. A 3D, yeah, 3D Printing Association for Dentists. We got a, we got you know it's brand new, and so right now we just we're starting out. We uh, we've got a website, 3dpa.org. If you'll go there, if you want to get a copy of our new report, 25 reasons why most dentists are going to miss the 3D printing boom in dentistry. I, I, we've got a report there where I outline 25 reasons why most offices just give up and never get this far, okay? The fact you're still watching this video, man, there's hope, right? Because you guys have hung in there, you see the value in this, okay? So we talked about the savings. We talked about, um, we talked about just looking cooler and more modern to our patients and give us a little bit of an advantage in our community that way. Well, here's the big advantage, okay? I discovered this totally by accident, but when we started 3D printing everything, the amount of big cases that I started doing just went up and up and up. Now, there's a few reasons probably, but the biggest reason is I think we can just do stuff faster than we used to could do. It's just so much quicker for a patient if they're in the chair and they wanna start treatment, a lot of times we could start today if we wanted to. You know, in the past, if somebody wanted clear aligners, that's a big process. We had to get all these records, send it into the company. We're probably not starting that case for 30 days. That's how it used to be. Um, now, we literally could start a case, same day start. We could start it today. Um, we don't always do that, but we absolutely could. And we're sure going to start the case way sooner than we ever could before, right? So same day starts, that's a huge deal. And when you start offering stuff to patients and they can start today, like, hey, um, how about this implant? Well, maybe you wanna give yourself a couple of days, you know, to do the scan and make the guide and just make sure everything's right. But a couple of days, before I started making my own guides, it was routinely two to four weeks before we could get one back. And many times the company, they wanna get on Zoom and have a Zoom with you. Well, when you're doing your own, you can see everything. You're really just doing the Zoom for yourself, right? I mean, you can see where the implant's going, you can avoid the nerves, um, just all that stuff. So it's just so much faster for ortho, implants, dentures. Hey, somebody, at least I'm in a very rural area. When somebody comes in and they want, hey doc, I'd like to get my teeth pulled and get a set of teeth. I mean, you could theoretically do that same day. Now we give ourselves a couple of days, but what's a couple of days, I mean, what are you doing in your practice? I mean, if somebody asks you that question now, is it a couple of weeks? Is it three weeks or four weeks before you can get the immediate denture back? I mean, these are things we can do very fast in our practice. And you know, the thing that I've always believed is uh, there's kind of an effect. When someone comes to your office and they're really excited to do a new treatment, and it costs a reasonable amount of money, you know, could be anything. If you can't schedule it and do it very quickly, and I mean same day is the best, but within a couple of days, people tend to go home, they talk to people, they talk to their spouse, friends, they start looking on Google, for goodness sake, if you have a bad review or something, that kills the whole deal. Um, it just sort of kills momentum. But if you can do stuff fast, same day or, or just very quickly, it just improves everything all along the way. People never lose their excitement more people are gonna actually follow through and do these big cases. So you're probably gonna see a huge boom in your big cases just like we did. So that's the third big thing. It got so bad in my office, we actually had to create a new system to keep track of all the big cases we were diagnosing so they wouldn't get lost through the cracks. So I hope that's something that would happen for you too. So uh, anyway, there's the three big things. We talked about huge savings, modernization, and, and the look, the the advantage it gives your practice and the community, and then more big cases. So three big things you get out of 3D printing, okay? And like I said, if you'll go to our website, 3dpa.org, you can see the, the report 25 reasons why most dentists are gonna miss out on the, the coming 3D printing boom in dentistry. Um, but if you've watched this video, hey, it's probably not you, right? So thanks for watching the video. I hope you get into 3D printing and just let us know what you think. Subscribe to this channel, leave some comments. We're ready to help you get into this.